Okay. You just have to go around there. My baby. You have to go around there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you, Heavenly Father. Thank you once again for watching over our sister Jewel and my mom, Almeida Baptiste. Thank you for watching over Uncle Mark and Aunt Tody and Aunt Marva and um Mama Jordan and anyone else that's on here that has went through whatever that yeah. was given to them. And thank you for giving them the faith. Like the lady that we're going to read about today, you mm -hmm. gave all of them the faith to go through it and rely on, only on you. Heavenly Father, you are our only true healer. And today, we're going to give all testimonies of what you have done for us. We ask you to let the speaker speak from his heart and increase the Holy Spirit that's in him. We ask you this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Yes, yes. So we've already mentioned that we'll be studying uh, the woman who touched the hem of his garment. And we're going to hand the floor over to our presenter today, Brother Tommy, and I know we're going to be blessed. Amen. Thank you, everyone. I got to re regroup my emotions here and mm -hmm. let the spirit lead us. Tonight, we're going to be studying Forces to be Reckoned with, Portable Woman, Chapter 27, Touch the Hem of His Garment by our sister, Joel Hampton. And a woman having an issue of blood 12 years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issues of blood stench, Luke chapter 8, verses 43 and 44. Jesus was following Jairus to his house to heal his 12-year-old daughter who had taken sick. The crowd thrown in up on the group as they walked. A woman among the crowd had been sick as long as Jairus' daughter had lived. For 12 years, she had suffered from an issue of blood. So the woman with the issue of blood pressed her way through the crowd until she touched his garment and she knew she was healed the instant that she did. Luke 8 and 45. Jesus asked, who touched me? When they all denied it, Peter said, Master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. 
Luke 8 and 46. But Jesus said, someone touch me. I know that the power has gone from me. Luke 8 and 47. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. Luke 8 and 48. Then he said to her, Daughter, your faith has healed you. Go in peace. I would love to give this unnamed woman a name, but I've been told that your name is your nature or your character. She had tenacious faith, never giving up, persistence for existence. For 12 years, this woman lived in an invisible prison, walls 24 seven. They were not walls that she put up. They were erected by the culture of her time. Living in isolation, somehow she had heard about Jesus. Maybe as a child in Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 6 and 7, the Jewish people were commanded to teach their children about God. So perhaps she already had a firm understanding of faith that she had come to cling to for the past 12 years. I have been blessed to meet people with tenacious faith and never giving up. They would sing, I'm gonna trust in the Lord till I die. They might sing, the Lord will make a way. Today's young people sing, take me to the King. I don't have much to bring. My heart is torn into pieces. It's my offering. Maybe we will call her Veronica, Sandra, Bishop Green, Myrna, Joyce Dinelli, Marva, Joyce Jordan, Alameda Baptiste, Tina Hampton. Last but not least, my sister, Jewel Hampton. I know we will call her a formidable woman of faith to be reckoned with. If you touch him, you will be made whole, physically, emotionally, spiritually, by your faith, amen. She may have been homeless, she had spent all her earnings on doctors. Maybe all her friends had turned their backs on her because of her condition, but she was tenacious and relentless, never giving up. Can't you see her now fighting her way through the crowd, pressing past Jesus' entourage? She may have looked at Matthew and said, you are not the master. Crawled by Peter and said, I got more faith than you. She looked at Dr. Luke and said, I didn't put my hope in you. Now she was weak from her condition, exhausted. But when I'm weak, I'm strong. She may have looked at Jesus and said, I know you're on your way to heal Jairus' daughter, but pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my 
humble cry. Why here on others thou art calling? Do not pass me by, Savior, Savior. Hear my humble cry. Amen. 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 Go on, preach the word. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. ending of it, Lord, I made it even so much better. Yeah, yes. It touched me. Um, you know, she was a woman of such strong faith and belief, so she knew that by touching his hem that she will get well, and she did. You know, and it, it reminded what reading this story kind of reminded me of uh, back home. I think I mentioned it once before. They have what they call a, a black Christ. Oh, one yeah. of the black idol, I would call it. Uh huh. Mm. I prefer more than idol. But um, every every October thirty first, when they bring bring it out of the church, parade it through the streets. People are trying to touch the hem of that. And they have that belief that that's what cures them or what helps them to win money or something. But, you know, it's just uh, this woman had a stronger belief because she believed in the right person, not in an idol. Yeah. She believed in God. Mm -hmm. She believed in Jesus and while these other people believe in something that not real, just a wooden statue. You know, but when I read that thing, it kind of took me back to that, to that, back yeah. to Panama, remembering about that, you know, because I've, I've been there, but I didn't go there for the festival like that. I went there because the job sent me and my father, that, mm -hmm. like a picnic. So we just went down there and saw, but I didn't, we didn't take part in, in, the, in the procession or anything like that, you know, because I didn't believe in that anyway. <clears throat> well, Tommy, you did a very good job, man. Thank you, my brother. Thank you. A complete job. Thank you very much. Yeah, Thank Tommy, you. that was excellent. Uh, um, but first, uh, Sodi, I don't think I mentioned your name. I can tell your bright, shiny presence as usual is there, and I love you too. Uh, mm -hmm. Tommy, gee, you really wrong in the word <laughs> I can't find a thing to criticize uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. right uh -huh. that was excellent yes it was excellent I'd uh -huh. say more but I get out of breath pretty fast uh -huh. Take <laughs> thank your you time. yeah thank you for that oh and by the way isn't Toadie's name Veronica or something Yes. yes. Okay. 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 And now that you brought it up, the name that gave uh, <laughs> the woman name was going to be Veronica, but I didn't want to. I didn't want to have the controversy because you know there's a controversy that Veronica was the woman who had the blood issue, and she was also Saint Veronica, who had the handkerchief. Yes. Yeah. Space on his way to Calvary. Yes, mm -hmm. but there's there's as yeah. you always say, there's people scholars who debate that back and forth. Right, and even the Catholic Church will say at the end of their dictionary on Saint Veronica that they cannot prove that Veronica was the woman's name because nowhere in the Bible does it give her name. If you do a search on Veronica in the Bible, you'll come up with nothing. Yes, uh -huh. yes, yes. So, yeah, so that, I, that's why I left it out, and but I, I was hanging on to that Veronica for a long yeah, time. I just think it's such a coincidence, <laughs> though, that Tony's real name is Veronica. 
That's, <laughs> yes, that's, yeah. That's, that's the first thing I thought of too, uh, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, Tony, Tom, I like, you know, you, how the emphasis you made on how tenacious she was, what a faithful woman she was, you know, and, um, and how, mu how much faith she had because in those days, a woman bleeding hmm. to stay away from everybody. <clears throat> no, they had to stay away from everybody. But she had been suffering for so long and she knew in her heart that the only way hmm. she he left is spending all her money and you mentioned that she might have been homeless, which, you know, as you read the story, you never think about that. But by this time, she might have been a homeless woman because yes. she spent all her money. But after all of that, she felt that Dr. Jesus was on his way. And that's yes. the person that was going to heal her. Mm -hmm. And he didn't even have to touch her. All she had to do was touch his garment. Yes, yes. That's how strong her faith was. Faith, faith. I like the way that you um just put this all together and I loved your ending. Oh yeah. You could have had us all shouting. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it. Loved it. Loved it. Loved we it. should have Sister Donnelly sing that song at the end. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. I'd like to pick up where Joyce left off because I was delayed getting to the to the uh, class. When I got in here, I was excited with, you know, seeing Jewel here and uh, hearing her voice. And uh, then as you started, as Joyce was commenting, I hadn't thought about the, uh, the, the way people then thought about a woman during the time that she was uh, going through the, the period of a, of, uh, of, uh, of having her her period, I, mm -hmm. I didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Joyce was correct. You know how people treated them at that time. Yeah. And all I remembered is that as you were going through your presentation, I had my eyes closed. Don't need to close them anyway, mm -hmm. but I had them closed. <laughs> and. As they were closed, I could picture her crawling on her belly, yes. the way you were describing it. And I was able to move through the crowd with her, with all of the persons, when you mentioned Peter, and when you mentioned uh, Luke, and when you mentioned all of them, I'm thinking about all the things the Bible says. Some of them I recognized that they had done, and some of them I didn't. But all the things that you brought to 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 uh, display something within their character that she was saying, no, you're not the one. I haven't gotten there yet. I haven't reached him yet. <laughs> and I felt like I was crawling right along with her because you took me through such a scene that was so lively that brought life into the situation. And I thought at the end that... Um, Gee, we were we were given in this story when you hear it over and over, nobody thinks about the issue of blood in the same way they thought about it then. Yeah. Puts on a different scale in the way you presented it, you sure can't. You can only think about the it, her issue of blood and her faithfulness mm. and commitment to making it through because she believed. So I really thank you for the graphic way in which you presented it. It was beautifully graphically done. Yes, it was. And I just really enjoyed well. uh, following that journey with you. <clears throat> yes, Tommy, you. You, did a, you. you did a fantastic job. On yes, fantastic. Always, when I have read this passage before, I always amazed that is just like how when um one of his <clears throat> disciples when he says who touched me you in the middle of so much people you yeah, know and yeah. you bump shoulders and so but he know that this was a different touch 
Mm -hmm. All this touch meant something. It was just yeah. not about uh, people mm -hmm. trying to go in through the crowd. So he knew, you know, that this this something happened in this moment. And um, it's so amazing to me because sometimes, you know, like, especially like, and I know that it's crazy. Uh, like if I'm traveling and I'm in a plane and I see like a, a you know, like a, a priest come dressed like a priest for yeah. some reason, I, sorry, I just feel like more secure in the plane. Like if, like if he, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe uh, I think that he's a man of God. I don't know him. A man right. of God that bring a, a little more protection. I don't know. It's me. Yeah. You yeah. know, that, that's the way I just feel when I'm flying, especially when I'm flying and I see like one of them walking in. I say, I just feel like a little piece. So I yeah. can, yeah. I can, yeah. I can more or less super, see, feel. Mm -hmm what this woman felt when she touched that piece of cloth, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. power that this man have, he can do everything for me. Mm -hmm. You did a fantastic presentation, Tommy. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God. Thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Tommy, you, you did do a really good job. And I like how you took it in three different phases where you started out with scriptures and then you went to jewel book and yeah. or really four and then you took it to being personal where you connected the women who have who have had issues and each, each one of us had had some kind of issue but you connected us to her and you connected our faith just like she has faith mm -hmm. and and your passion is singing so you put songs into your message and you put songs that we all knew and still know into your message so that mm -hmm. was real creative about you well I, I also I have learned that um that it stated here that uh, many poor souls healed, helped, and saved by Christ that is hidden in a crowd and nobody notices it. Mm -hmm. So any one of us or anybody could be in a situation in a mall or whatever and going through something and then they walk and they feel okay. And it's only by faith and by praying that that has happened. And, and I'll conclude it with, well, with um, it states that, but in perfect faith, there is no fear. So if you really, really have faith, all you're doing is relying on God. And the more we fear, the less we believe. But I like how it states that perfect faith, there is no fear. And last is I love, love, love how Jewel ended the um the chapter yes. says a uh, unnamed woman did not give up she had to crawl through a huge crowd to get to the savior but she was persistent and persistence results in a miracle in her life and i like this part right here where you'll state that there's a message for today Persistent, whatever it is Jesus has given you to do. Persist when you have fallen ill. Persist when a storm of lights are raging. Persist until you hear him say, daughter, be of good comfort. <clears throat> now that's something we can take with us every single day. I love yeah. her ending. Thank you, Paul, and thank you, Tommy. Amen. <laughs> Yes. Take the words out of my mouth, Tina. I know I should have <laughs> went before you. <laughs> Same page. I had this, that high. I got a high in my book. <laughs> I got a high. I was going to add that to my. But, <laughs> but thank you. Great job. <laughs> Great job. And, you know, just uh, use that word tenacious, you know, 
something to clean, hold on to. We, you know, mm. we definitely got mm. to have something to hold on to, despite how it may look yes, on the outside. You know, we see from the physical eyes, but the spiritual eyes, we can keep going mm. forward. Mm. And I remember uh, we, a while back, uh, Malachi said, for time is this, when he talking to Esther, you know, <laughs> well, yeah, Jesus, I don't know how Jesus was at that time, but it wouldn't, it wouldn't, the, it wouldn't the time for her to be healed until that particular moment. You know, sometimes we got to go through some things mm -hmm. and and know that it's only God that healed you, and you're the only God that brought you through whatever situation mm -hmm. you may have been in or going through. So, you know, He does the impossible, and that's and that's. And then she had to know something about Jesus. Heard it, like you said <clears throat> about mm -hmm. the power of God, and I'm sure she heard about the miracles too. And and she, and she said, regardless of how what people may say. Like she said, because she was considered unclean, uh, she pressed on forward, and that's, yes, that's sir. the message. Yeah, thanks for that powerful presentation as well as the just the encouragement. Like I say, each week is a is a new encouragement. Just uh, keep pressing on, just a little while longer. You know, mm -hmm. uh, right. he's able. He, you know, and if you don't do, he's still able. Yeah. So that's yes, the faith yeah. to have, yeah. and just a. Uh, a blessing just to, you know, like you said, the way you brought it out, the song, and thought you was going to break out with a song at first. <laughs> but that's <laughs> but you did a good job. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Because let us know that no matter what's going on, God is able. Yes, he is. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Al. Yeah, brother. Brother Al. I know. I, I, I know that this is an answer that nobody can give me, but um, <clears throat> like when he asks who touched me, I wonder if this woman was scared, you know, because he touched him and he know and 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 how 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 would God say who touched me? Because you can say who touched me. Or yeah. you can say, or you can say, who touched me? Yes. You, you Which way did he say it? <laughs> yes. You know, yeah. 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 He was probably yeah. not very demonstrative because everything he did, he 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 did it out of uh, love. Yeah. So, yeah, he probably had a calm, much calmer than we see it, and he probably who touched me. Yeah, but when that yeah. power went out of him and into her, he knew someone had been healed. Right. You know, because they were touching him all day long. Mm -hmm. Right. They were touching him as he was moving toward Jairus's house. People were they were trying to protect him, and people were touching him. But that was a special touch. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know good. what? What I would like to add is. The fact that the woman uh, became so humble in her act in trying to get to mm -hmm. the yeah. hem of his garment, she mm -hmm. crawled through a crowd of people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. She mm -hmm. crawled. And yes. Sister Jewel made a point of bringing that out at the very last paragraph. Mm -hmm. she, she did not give up. Apparently, she had been trying to get to him by pressing through the crowd, but when right. she didn't get through by trying to press through the crowd, because if you've ever been in a big crowd, you know how people are pushing and shoving. Mm -hmm. This woman got down on her knees and crawled. And, yes. and I just imagined her crawling. Mm -hmm. And they, lo they wore long garments back in those yes. days. So mm -hmm. that had to be quite an act. Yeah. But she made it to him because yeah. she didn't give up. And yes. I like the way Sister Jewel described the garments that they wore back then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That was very interesting. She probably uh -huh. just pulled on one of the little ribbons. She, you know, uh -huh. other people were touching him, you know, just touching him, but he felt that pull on, on his garment from yeah. below. Yes. That was, I believe that was the distinguishing point 
he knew somebody had to have humbled themselves to get down and pull on the hem of his garment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I believe he probably knew who it was. He knew everything. Oh, yeah. But he wanted her to say it. Mm -hmm. Some people wouldn't have admitted it. <laughs> they had gotten healed. They probably would have just said thank you and All tried right. to get away because she was unclean. They were con considered ceremoniously unclean mm -hmm. when they were not uh, mm -hmm. purified. The, the days of purification for a woman period was 33, but she was unclean the whole 12 years. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Right. I often wondered how someone lived bleeding for 12 years. That put something on my mind because I know uh, when people hemorrhage, it makes them weak. Uh, mm -hmm. If you lose too much blood, they want to give you a blood transfusion. This woman bled for 12 years. Mm -hmm. So That's this is right. a great, great story on faith mm -hmm. and how persistence as Sister Jill said resulted in her being healed and how Jesus then he spoke to her so that was a double blessing when he spoke to her she was, she was healed and she had something to go out and testify about after that yes he told yeah. her daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole. Go mm -hmm. in peace. This woman didn't have to worry about bleeding no more after bleeding for 12 years. I just think that is one of the biggest stories of, about miracles and healing in the Bible. <laughs> so, thank you, Brother Tommy. You brought it out. Yes. Um Tommy and I was wondering about 12 because when you say the daughter was 12, the daughter was 12. And she she was was 12. 12. Well, um, what's the connections that you have with that, Joel? Uh, I do know the 12 is number of perfect administration. Okay. Mm. Wow. Your daughter is 12 years old. That yeah. is a tremendous time in the life of all Jewish people when a child reaches 12 years old because they then become responsible for their own sins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, led for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Administrating, not ad administrating. And so at the 12th year, <clears throat> the year of administration, she then touches the hem of Jesus' garment and she becomes clean. I'm not sure what all of the significance is, but I know that there is a lot of significance uh, to those two women one being 12, and one having been sick for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it, and another thing that struck me in Jules' uh, scripture, and then I read it later in the scripture, he said, daughter, you have been made whole. Mm -hmm. See, the doctor can heal your disease but he can't make you whole that you won't right. go out and get that disease again. Yeah. Right. Right. Rehabilitation, they can take your taste for alcohol temporarily away, but you're still not whole because right. you, still, you have to stay away from alcohol. Yeah. When yeah. he said whole, now what makes you whole? You got to be whole in your mind, mentally. You yeah. got to be whole in your body physically. And the number one thing, you got to be made spiritually. So mm -hmm. you got to have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit to be whole. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we see people get out of jail. This woman 
the Lord took her out of a prison that she had nothing to do with. The yeah. Jewish culture put her in a prison. She had AIDS. She had COVID. And he touched her. And not only in public, he told her, you've been made whole. The crowd is around. Jesus, get away from this woman. This woman yeah. got COVID. This woman got AIDS. Yeah. He said, daughter. So, I call you daughter. <laughs> so you have been made whole. Yes. yes. No matter where we go in this world, no one can make us whole. But God. It's only one. He ain't in this world. He makes yeah. us whole. <laughs> yeah. And that's what that's why we can walk through ungodly things because he makes us whole. That's why we can give up drugs. We can give up drinking. We can give up womanizing because we've been made whole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. That's why we can Pretty turn the channel time. when X-rated stuff come on. That's why yeah. when, the, when the boys and the girls said, let's snort some coke, that's when we can leave the party because we're whole. Mm. <laughs> so that's a whole different element he made her a whole yeah. yes <clears throat> and he told her her faith made her mm -hmm. whole <laughs> mm -hmm. faith had made me whole yeah I just love it thank you thank you brother Tommy yeah. thank you mm -hmm. Tommy excellent it wasn't loquacious but it was it's to the point, you know. <laughs> uh -huh. It was short, and and it really, it was just right on time, right in, in between. And I, I, I mentioned that word because uh, before I uh, comment on um, on the presentation, I want to give a praise report that I'm still doing the uh, Bible study with the um, with the youth at work. And last week, a kid, uh, we got a new kid to come who hadn't been coming. And yeah. we're doing taming the tongue, so that, that's why I mentioned that loquacious, you know, loquacious because we, yeah. I, I revisited that again. But this young man, he opened with a prayer, and you know, we usually go around and everybody had I give everybody opportunity to pray. And as we ended the the, the Bible study, um, I asked him. Well, I was going to do the same thing. And I asked him to pray. And when I tell you this young man spewed out a prayer to where it wasn't nothing else to be said. I mean, he prayed and, and all of us looked up and was like, well, we don't need no more prayer after that. <laughs> so it was, <laughs> it was evident that, you know, he's had some, some uh, history and some, some, some background and some, some 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 teaching and some preaching in his life before then, and it was all about him being thankful that he made the decision mm -hmm. to come because it was all those weeks that he was saying, "I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come." He never did, but when mm. he came, he got something from it, and he gave like a testimony about how happy he was. So I wanted wow. to share that with you guys too. I remember telling you guys about um, us doing a Bible study. And it is uh, producing fruit. And I'm yeah. so happy about it. And I just wanted to give that praise report about that. Amen. 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 Yeah. Larry, Larry, you know what you're doing? That's the same thing happened to that girl that had the bleeding. Someone had a Bible study with her long before this. And no matter what <laughs> storms came into her life, she had that foundation. And yeah. she may have been of the Jewish descent. And that's what I said. And they were in Deuteronomy when you know they were had to teach their children about God. Well, each one of us on this had a parent that came before us that taught us about God. Yes. Is the reason that we have this close knit group right now that through all we've all we've gone through, that foundation that they gave us long ago. <laughs> has brought us back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's what this kid, no matter how bad it got for, her, no matter, you get out of here, you stinky little, little bleeding woman, you can't come into town. 
You can't be around her. The Jewish law, you got to get punished. And she got to yeah. go out by the lake somewhere. She got to go out in the woods to live. <laughs> and, and, and but but only one person <laughs> made a hole. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, amen, yes. amen. And, you know, so many different um, lessons within your lesson, uh, Brother Tommy, that, you know, we, we can get. It. And that's one of them. So that, yes. that's true. She has some type of foundation, some type yeah. of background that mm -hmm. helped her understand that all she had to do was to get there. All she had to <laughs> this is the Messiah yeah. that her grandparents talked about. Yeah. This is the Messiah yeah. that's... And, 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 being, he's walking through Galilee and, and Jerusalem healing people and somehow it got to her. And she, yeah. this is the Messiah that my grandmother talked about. This is the God, the same God that my grandmother talked about. <laughs> this is the same God that just healed Sister Jewel. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> so we're witnessing that faith in, in, in Aunt Marva. We're witnessing that faith yes. in, in Sister Jewel. We're witnessing that faith in Elton. Each person on here has had an episode in their life where they clung to that mustard seed faith. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, we, we didn't go into depth today with it, but Joyce was reading uh, in preparation for here and getting some things out. And she read briefly from a place in the book of Numbers. And um, it was describing the kind of robe that Christ had on or would be wearing during that encounter in, in Luke with the woman with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. And it was brief, but it caught my attention. I asked her to go over it again. And the one thing that I re that I remembered is that because it attracted people to it because of it, of the tassels and stuff mm -hmm. that were dangling, that that is the very kind of robe that Christ was wearing that day. That was intentional. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And that you know because nothing. I mean, he plans everything, but that was the very okay. kind of robe that he had on. And while she was crawling around. She couldn't oh. help but see all of those dangles mm -hmm. wow. and continue wow. moving no matter what. You know, no, you haven't wow. reached me yet, my child. Keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't me reached me yet. Keep coming. <laughs> you know, until she finally arrived to that robe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I told I was just asking Joyce, and she, she I said, "Wasn't well, that was that sandwich?" She said, "No, that was numbers." Yeah, numbers. <laughs> Excuse me, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry with this cough, but she's <laughs> tell them what what book you found it in, sweetheart. Numbers fifteen. Okay. Numbers what, Joyce? Fifteen. 15. Mm. Thirty-eight and forty. Numbers fifteen, thirty-eight and forty. Yes, 38 to 40, yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. And so, you know, and all those, um, those messages. Sister Jewel has that in here. Yes, she does. Oh, she does? Well, yes. well mm -hmm. how would she yeah. not? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure do. Right. Oh, it's a sharp class tonight. Oh, yeah. right. hey. We're starting early now, boy. People still sharp. <laughs> yeah, remember when I made the comment about the, the garment that he had on, had the fringes, the, the hem of his garment was oh, made yeah. with. Oh, okay. Yeah, the fringes. And that was an order for the people. I don't know mm -hmm. if it was for everybody or for just the, the men or who, because. If that was everybody, then that that sister had to really find Jesus in that crowd on her knees. Because <laughs> every, if everybody was, the people of God were to dress differently from the nations around them. I believe I read that it was the people of God. Yeah. This was a command given to them by Moses. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a demon of yeah, I like how 
she um she was not only persistent in what she was doing, but with that, she was brave enough, was scared, and then became brave enough to tell, it's in chapter, I mean, verse 47, where she says, now she had, she have to tell, and she told why she touched him and how she was instantly healed. So uh -huh. as soon as he asked, right then, she gave a testimony. Right. And around everybody who knew that she was, that she was unclean. Mm -hmm. That was her, her first testimony mm -hmm. around everybody. So her persistence and her bravery and her faith showed up all at one time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guess what? She told a testimony that she had been healed, right? Right. Uh -huh. What did the woman at the well do? She went back and had a testimony. <laughs> Everybody has a testimony. Quite a few <laughs> women in this, as soon as they were healed or saved by Jesus, they went shouting the word. Now, yes. we, we got to find what some, some man had to do that somewhere. Well, that's, yeah. in, that's in another book. We'll get to that book later. <laughs> every one of these women have been testifying yes. what the Lord has done for me. Right. Yeah. And they were the most unlikely candidates. They was just like that song, I wasn't going to tell nobody. But, but I, I couldn't, couldn't keep it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> so she's right. right there. All these people who ridiculed her, and then yeah. he's healed her, and she goes, oh, she, the, the tail is the head. <laughs> he, yeah. he made me the head. <laughs> So I written down down those down that same um vein that you know the, the scripture I forget where I didn't look up where it came from, but it, it says um you should be humble and he who humbles himself will be exalted and, and he who exalts himself will be humble. She uh -huh. humbled herself and yeah. crawled and touched the hem. Yeah. Jesus yeah. knew who it was that touched the hem, but yeah. He gave her the opportunity because she was so humble to get down on the ground and, and just yes, do that. Yes. He knew she was just that humble. And guess what he did? He created the setting for her to be exalted. Which yes. is yes. what you were yes. yes. So that yes. goes back to that scripture. He himself will be exalted and he exalts himself will be humble. And mm -hmm. Jesus, wasn't, he knew what he was doing. You know, in that situation, oh, yes. <laughs> president of, in the president of her enemies, he prepared yeah. a table. Exactly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and her cup runneth over. <laughs> yes. And guess what? And, and when he said, "Go in brother, peace," yeah. that meant what? Well, nobody mm -hmm. gonna mess with her no more. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And he told her to go in peace. Oh, they respected yeah. her. Yeah. They, they heard her mm -hmm. testimony, and she wow. was like you say. <laughs> She was exalted Man. because no. of her humility. Yeah. And I know if like God us. came, if Jesus I came guess. into our setting and somebody was really, I mean, back in the day and somebody was, was needing a healing and he stopped and took the time to bless you and tell you to go in peace. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody in that group of people would be looking like, wow, what a blessing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, that was favor. That was just favor. Right. Yeah. Because right. there were yeah. so many people that had issues, maybe not with blood, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. that's the crowd yeah. was following him. There were people needing to be healed from demons and yeah. everything. <laughs> yeah. But she and that touch got his attention, and he stopped because he was on his way to the twelve-year-old girl's house, right? Yeah, yeah. Jarius. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, this story is just powerful. Three wow. pages in the book. Yeah. How many yeah. scriptures is it, Sister Jewel, that deals with this? Yeah, I mean, about, every one, every week. <laughs> uh, about how many scriptures? It's only a few verses, about, right? Three. Yeah. Yep. 
-hmm. and Luke, and, right? But but you know who had more faith? You know, if if I'm Jairus, I'm like, hey, you know, we need to get on to the house. <laughs> take, care of my, take care of my daughter. You know, well, this this woman, uh, this woman ain't no good. Can we move on to take care of my daughter? <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what he did. He was on his way to do another one job. Right. And yeah. while he was walking away, he got another job yeah. done. So yeah. he was multitasking. Man. <laughs> and Jarius did not object, did he? He got it now. Oh. It didn't say he objected. That's good. That showed that he had a little more faith too, because he well, trusted yeah. that Jesus was going to heal his daughter no matter yeah, when he got there. Uh -huh. Yeah. But that's when it struck me, and, and I can hear Fantasia singing, Pass Me Not, Why You Here on Behalf of Others. See, yes. Jared was calling to save my daughter, and this woman passed me not. Why you here yes. on behalf of others that are calling? Yes. And that's how we get blessed by somebody else's prayer. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I've heard that song a million times, never thought about that while on others thou art calling. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Because yeah. yeah. he was yeah. getting ready to go yeah. see about somebody else. Yeah. And he did not pass her by. She no. wouldn't let him pass her by. No. <laughs> she was relentless. <laughs> Mm, powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Good, yeah. Going back to the um, piece, Brother Tommy, that you were talking about, she must have had some foundation. Wow. It, it she said that she heard that Jesus was coming to town. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that also, she just had, she, oh, what? what? Who was that? <laughs> she heard that Jesus was coming. <laughs> and she wow. took action. She yeah, didn't sit yeah. on her hand. Oh, but she heard it. <laughs> <laughs> and she went and got her blessing. You know what I mean? Got her yeah. blessing. That, that's, what? Yeah. He did he this close? <laughs> I heard about that that man. I heard about the Messiah. I heard yeah. about it. So yeah. I'm gonna go get my blessing. Yeah. I, I feel like that other song is a rock and roll song. It's a, hand me down my walking cane and my hat. We're going out tonight to see the latest act. <laughs> Rubber band man. That, that, oh. must been, that, that must have been her when she heard he was in town. <laughs> she said, I'm going to clean up the best I can, but if I got the crawl, I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. <laughs> There's another song that's written about this lady. There was a woman in the Bible days who had been sick so very long. Oh. She heard about Jesus was passing by. And she, and what, what is the other words? Anyway, but while she was pushing her way through, somebody asked her, what are you trying to do? She said, if I could just touch the hem of his garment, I'll be made whole. Yes. Uh, you remember that one, Brother Tommy? I've heard yeah, I remember that, that now. Yes, yeah. I remember that. Yeah. 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 yeah that that, that like, was in the late 60s. Yes. That was in the late 60s. Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> that was a good, good yeah. song. Another song that I thought about that I wrote down was it's called uh, Only a Look at Jesus. You know? Yes. Only a Look. You know, he can bring you salvation and you yes. have eternal life that you can yeah. win. And you know, it, it's just like her. She didn't even touch his physical body, like it, the skin or nothing. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. Back to having that faith, and if you have enough faith, you know, you can gain eternal life. You can uh, yeah. get salvation. You know, and it's just mm -hmm. really turning your inner spirit, your inner eye towards Jesus. That's what I got from that song. Yes. and her faith that you know that. Uh, oh, I just touched that him, and, and she yes, was made yeah. whole. Yes, <laughs> it wasn't even something. That I got. I got to ask Tina I got a trivial that. question. I don't know if she remembered. Whose house were we in 
and we both looked at the picture of the woman touching the hem of his garment. Uh, my aunt Sharon. <laughs> That's right. Matter of uh, fact, I bought I bought a picture just like that. Yeah, her aunt Sharon, Sharon had it. it. Let me see and, if I can uh, show it. Every time we'd be at our Aunt Sharon's house, we'd both just be staring at that picture. Sharon wow. had a beautiful picture of it. And then Tina got the... Uh, Can you guys see this? Uh, oh, yeah. yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. She's down yeah. there. She's down there. Oh, yeah. Yes. Here she go. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I've seen that. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, and Brother Tom, you talked about that tenacious faith, that tenacious faith. And um, it reminded me of that old uh, story, that old ch children's story that a little train that thought it could. I yeah. think I can. I think I can. <laughs> and it, cause that's what she had to have some, 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 yeah. work, some wheels to, to just push, yeah. push through the crowd, push as she crawled through it and, and she, that's what it reminded me of. And, yes, um, yeah. Yes. She, she had that, I think I can, think that, I that can. train that thought she could. That's that mindset. That mindset. The, little, it, the little engine that could. Yeah, yeah. yeah the little that's what it was called. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, we was watching. And then I heard a guy. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, Larry. Huh? Oh. Go ahead. You want to go or you? No, okay. you go ahead. And now I was just going to say, there was a motivational speaker. His name is uh, Eric Thomas. So he's a brother. And he has a um, a speech in this it's entitled, I can, I will, I must. Wow. And he repeats that. I can, I will, I must. I wow. can, I will, I must. And in the story, he gives different times when he had that determination, that persistence that, you know, I, wow. love, I love that word, <laughs> that persistence wow. to say, you know what? I might have some uh, distractions. I might have some barriers. I might have some boundaries that I got to cross and some boxes I got to bust out of, but I can, I will, and I must. And this is a, a, a one of the best examples of having that determination, that persistence, yeah. and that attitude. I can, I will, and I must. And she did it. And, and, and when you demonstrate that kind of faith, God rewards yeah. it. That's yeah. right. That's right. You know, yeah. we, we don't give up at the, the first time. You don't give up the second time, the third time, the fourth time. And while others may not be seeing all that you've gone through, yes, in yes. order to get there, yes. guess who does see? It? He that's does, right. and he rewards yeah. your faith. He rewards your persistence. Yeah. He rewards yes. your determination. Yes, and yes. That's that's uh, uh, encouragement for us to whenever we have something we we're trying to get through or get past or you know, uh, work out, have that, that, that persistence. I can, I will, and I must. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I used to, uh, and then I passed it on because some guy told me, and when I was 19 years old working on the job, and it was a lot of guys, they were 19 to 25 years old. He said, Tommy, if, if you keep showing up every day, I'm going to have to give you a position. Yeah. And, uh, and that's all it was. You know, I was raw, but he he said like the best worker is the available worker. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and and so later after I became a foreman and stuff, and I would go like, you know, the person that keeps coming to work every day, that's the one I can depend on. Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and they may not have all the tools, but they have that tenacious stay after it. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and 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 the kids, I, I used to laugh at the thugs when they would say it, and and they went, "What's wrong?" I said, "You said ride or die." I said, "If you would put that ride or die into taking care of your wife and your kids, I said you'd be a bad son of a gun." <laughs> <laughs> but you mean you mean it for the world? I said, "But I'm gonna ride or die to make sure my children are fed. My children got a roof over their head." <laughs> yeah. you, you mean it you mean it for a thug that's only temporary <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah we were um watching this series called the chosen mm -hmm. and they oh. have one episode of her and oh. you can 
when I when I read this, it brought me back to this woman that was constantly, constantly washing clothes by the river. She had rags and piece, so many pieces of material, but she was constantly having to wash. So she was wore out just about cleaning her clothes. Mm -hmm. And um, that was another thing that I thought of. Once she was healed, mm -hmm. she didn't have to keep doing all that work no more. Right. Mm -hmm. And then it showed on there, it doesn't say it in here, but it showed on that once she was healed, she started following him with the disciples. Mm-hmm. So it don't say that, but it shows that part right there shows how grateful she was mm -hmm. that she wanted to spread the word as much as the disciples did. Mm -hmm. Because she was not only going through something inside her system, but she had to constantly physically work. Yes, yes. Yep. That's like the Samaritan woman, you know, um, Jesus told her that if, if you knew who it was that asked you this, I'll give you that water where you won't thirst anymore. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. She, she, was, she, was, she was thirsty, right? She lived a thirsty yeah. life. Yes. After she had that, that encounter with Jesus, she didn't thirst no more. She yeah. made her no. drink some water. No. 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 She never mm. cursed it again. You know, just like this lady, she may have uh, had another menstruation, but she didn't bleed like the way she did before. You know what no, I mean? No. Her and, life changed. Right. Man. And blood, blood is life. Yeah. That's so she right. was losing life, but Jesus and God, sometimes they're funny comedians. He waited till her life, that blood that she thought was life was over. And then he gave her eternal life. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. She, she had to get, sometimes we have to get all our drinking, all our drugs, everything out of our system. And when we no longer, then he stepped in to give us a new life. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of times he removed people that you've been dependent on. Mm. Um, right. You know, yeah. him. The crutches. You know, yes. Yeah. Yeah. The 12, those 10 leopards, you know, he healed. Only one came back. Huh. He, yeah. 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 He, and he told him also, you know, go, you made yourself whole. So, you know, yeah. you know, just yeah. honor and give praise to God when, you know, yeah. just don't sit on it. Yeah. Give him all the glory. Let, you know, people know, even though uh, this weekend was a sporting event, but uh, the coach that won the female, South Carolina, she you know she was so humbled. She just kept saying, "Thank you, God." You know, yes. give praise mm. to God. Yeah. He's, you know, you know, commentators. You know, they <laughs> cleanse it because they really ain't nothing. <laughs> they really can't say nothing. <laughs> they can't go mm. to a commercial. Go to commercial. So <laughs> you know, it's, it's just giving praise and honor to God when he when he bless you. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Give him all the glory. You know. No matter how great or small the victory, just continue to give him praise because yeah, each day is a new day. Yeah. So thank you. Yeah, uh, that was uh, that was the most amazing after game speech I've ever heard anyone mention God as mm. Staley did, and talking about her savior. And I know the networks, they were so uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, isn't that something? Don't you know we got boo, we got boo, but we got Muslims and and Buddhisms and everybody watching, and you talking about this God? <laughs> but, yeah, God, that's what, that's what He wants us to do. Sure, Proclaim yeah. His name among all the nations. He's more than yeah. We Tell we don't if we don't stand up for Him and we don't own Him. I mean, that's what everybody that has a platform should be doing. If if, yes. if they yeah. have the opportunity to yeah. proclaim yes. God as and Jesus Christ as the Son of God, 
and, and do that on a public platform, that might change a whole lot of lives. Oh, but, that's right. But, but like you said, everybody is so uh, inclined to be, I don't know what it is, because they're saying this is a nation with their, all these kinds of people. Yeah. Well, that's their belief. Why can't I proclaim mine? Yeah. But, Nobody will be canceled. Everybody. But that was powerful. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. They it made them so uncomfortable. But I I couldn't understand why why people get so uncomfortable. I mean, yeah. If they're Christians, yeah. they have no reason to be uncomfortable. No, right? no, no. <laughs> if they're if we're children of God, we can say Amen. And let that young lady know that she was very strong to stand and proclaim her Lord and Savior and why she, you know, was humble. Mm -hmm. I've heard a few people do that, that have the platform, but very few. They yes, give all yeah. honor and praise to God. Yes, yes, amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in sporting events, I remember football is in particular. I used to see John 316. And before I really knew what it was, I, I remember, you know, seeing it all the time at, at football games in between the goalposts. And then one day, I think I was at school somewhere. I, I heard it. I was like, oh, that's what that stands for. I <laughs> I didn't know what it was. And it was, it's a um, it's a place where you got to have a captive audience and why not exalt God? Like, why not? Right. Him out? Right. You know, he said, if you're, yes. if you're embarrassed to me, I'll be embarrassed to you. Or if you right. shame me, I'll be shame to you. Right. Shame, it's okay to, to, to exclaim him. And, and exclaim. Right. right. That's right. I'll never forget Larry. Larry's friend came to church. Named Don. His name is Don, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he, he testified he, you be ashamed of me I'll be ashamed of you that's right that's, that's scripture that's stuck in my head like everywhere I go I'm gonna let this little light of mine shine yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, -uh. Mm -hmm. yeah. the other Easter Easterners are waiting had another good lesson, Brother Tommy. Um, yeah. Great surprise, and Sister Jewel yeah. um, joining us again. And you know, one thing is with all the stuff that's going on all around us, like you know, it's it's terrible things that are going on. Look at how God is blessing us to be able to have a celebration yeah. and be able to smile and be able to get filled and be able to get the word. I mean, this is this is a true blessing because. Yeah. something crazy going on all around us you know we don't have to look far to to find some yeah. some 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 craziness going on but look at us we're we're celebrating and we're you know um having a good time and yeah. it's it's in the name of the lord we're having a good time in the name of the lord too you know what i mean yeah. it's awesome you know what i mean yeah and i'm so thankful for it and i'm you know Again, it just keeps getting gooder and gooder. You know, like you said before, Brother Tommy, it keeps getting gooder and gooder. And uh, <laughs> I'm so thankful. Mm -hmm. Yes. So it's a good one. Good night. Good night. Mm -hmm. These all encouraging. Yeah. Persistence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank God we are persistent. Um, Coming on every Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Encouraging you one another. So Amen. you don't know what the other one's been going through or battling, but something about this Wednesday, you get on here, you've been encouraged to make it a little while longer. So yeah. Bless. Yeah. Yeah. And I and I'm grateful that we're able to to witness some of the things or some of the 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 miracles that God has performed. Uh, in people in this group and their families and and friends right. and and just people that have we have been witnessing this for the past three years. Wow. I mean, we have witnessed a lot of things happen through prayer and and reading and agreeing and touching. It's it's amazing. 
is yeah. more than just Bible study. <laughs> we we are witnessing yeah. what yeah. is going on in each of our lives and how we uh the word overcomers keep coming to my mind. You know, we are overcomers. Yeah. We overcome. Yes. I know I have overcome. <laughs> yeah. We don't talk about yeah. everything that God has done for me. <laughs> we don't have time to, for everybody to talk about everything. But we all have testimonies, yeah. just yes. like the lady. Yeah. She got up and God, Jesus told her, she had a testimony. Yes. And I have a testimony that I often tell, but I, I sometimes I say, oh, people don't want to hear this. But no, that's wrong can. for me to feel that way. People, yeah. whether they want to hear it or not, is my testimony. And when yeah. God gives you a testimony, you're supposed to tell somebody. Because yeah. we don't know who it's going to bless. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Enemy don't, don't want you to tell. That's, that's what it is. Yes. Somebody out there, they ain't going to go out for it. Yes. Yep. He's definitely letting us know that he lives. You know. He, yes. Yes. You know, he's yes. alive. Yes. It's, it, it's coming alive right here in our be, before our presence, yes. before our very eyes in our presence. Yes. 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 Talk about that song. He lives. I can face tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Hmm. Right. Yeah. And he's good. He's just good. God is good. Yes. It's not just a cliche. God is good all the time. Yes. He really is. He's good. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone was afraid, but Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, even when every, even with the lepers or anyone who had a disease or anything, they were not un clean or so bad that they couldn't be talked to because he talked yeah. to all of them yes he and did he, he got close to he, them he yes talked, he talked to all of them and he didn't see what the outside he saw their faith and he saw their heart and each person that he healed firstly the women's deaths are in his book he saw their faith and this woman all these people around Jesus and she had the strongest faith that he felt that. Out of all them people, he felt her faith. Yeah. So that shows you that how strong her faith was. And she's a perfect example of giving God praise and through all your circumstances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. My, my, my. <laughs> well, before we uh, conclude tonight's uh, study, I wanted to give our uh, brother Tommy and anyone else, uh, Sister Jewel, opportunity to um, give us any concluding words or message at all. Well, I again want to just thank everybody just one more time. You don't know how much I appreciate your prayers, especially your prayers. Mm -hmm. All the God, the gifts, the video. I just mm -hmm. praise God because when I couldn't even talk good. Well, I could talk, but people couldn't understand what I was saying. Mm. <laughs> and I know that you were praying for me. And there have, of course, been times when I would become sad. But somebody would always come along at that very hour. <laughs> with an encouraging word. And I knew that you guys and my church family and my family were praying for me. So God sent someone, one of my therapists, for one thing. And then one night, 
I was really down. And there was a, not a regular nurse, but one who comes in sometimes at night. But I, she was always very quiet. And I was really down and depressed. And I was telling her how down I was. And she said, you know what? When you feel down and depressed, just put your hands up in the air and say, I praise you, God, for my healing. I didn't even know she was a Christian to that point. <laughs> and she sang, Pass me not, O gentle Savior. And she sang another song. And come to find out she's the lead in the choir. And then she prayed for me. And she prayed a prayer, warrior's prayer. And mm -hmm. I knew that that was a combination of all of your prayers. Mm -hmm. Johnson, first mm -hmm. of all, thank you for having this class. Mm -hmm. Because even after being away for almost four months, this class was going on and I could feel the prayers. Mm -hmm. And I know that God has not even started using you yet. Mm -hmm. That's how powerful you're going to be used for the kingdom's sake. Mm -hmm. And everyone in this class is being used for the kingdom's sake in such a powerful manner. And so again, I just say thank you. I love you. And Tommy, again, wow. You know what? That's my brother. I, I, I can call him my brother now. I can call him her. I'm proud of my brother now. Yeah. Proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I always have been. I love you so much. I love Thanks. you. Mm. Thank you, Sister Jewel. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Appreciate you. You, know, you. you bless us in, in, in ways that we can see that are outward and things that you don't even have any clue about. So Yes. Appreciate you so Thank much. You. I'm glad mm -hmm. you're, you're on, the, on the mend. We're, you're on the mend and, and, and it won't be long before you're 100% complete, whole, and lacking nothing. I, I <laughs> yes. Amen. And that's why I try to visit as many people I can while in the hospital just to, because I know what I, when I was going through my double bypass and yeah, it, was nice. it wasn't for them tapes and Bible verse, the Bible on tape and music and like I said, people coming in just encouraging. Just, yeah, yeah. at the song when I look back, I can truly mm -hmm. say. Mm, so, yes. <laughs> Nobody but the Lord. Nobody but God. Tommy, I um, I am so glad that I came on. At 7.30, I was so tired and sleepy. And I went to take a nap. And of course, all I could do was about 20 minutes. Because <laughs> I had get up get up to sign on and so it wasn't a restful 20 minutes at all and I text Larry and I told him I may not last too long tonight but, you know but I'm so glad that I stayed on him and then I'm so glad because June is on tonight yeah <laughs> so I'm glad that I you know did not just decide not to come because I would have missed this this um wonderful surprise, but I enjoyed Thank it you. So, so much. And I'm Jewel. We I love you so much, and I'm love you. happy, 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 happy to hear your voice. Yes, yes, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, brother Tommy. That was excellent. 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 I am, you have a way of getting the words up off the, the, the sheet of paper and just letting us live it. Uh -huh. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Yes. And Sister Jewel, it is such a pleasure to see you. I miss you. Love you. 
I am so happy Amen. that you're healing and that you'll be back soon. God bless you. Yes, yes. Bless you. Uh... Thank you. Yes, and Sister Jewel. Huh? I walked into the room and I just can't express the surprise that I felt and the delight. I was grateful to be able to be in the room with you tonight. Ah. And you said you weren't going to be able to talk, but you were strong. Yes. yes. Every yes. word you shared. So thank you so much for joining us and for blessing us with your presence. Uh, thank you. <clears throat> yes. I know I'm not alone. No. On this no, line. No. I'm not everybody has suffered something. Yeah. And so it strengthens me mm -hmm. to be in the company of those who have also suffered because that makes your prayers even more powerful. Mm -hmm. So thank you all of you. Mm-hmm. We're all ripening, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting riper and riper. Uh -oh. uh, are you on mute, Minister Johnson? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. I'm, I'm so oh, I sorry. bet it was a beautiful. I, I bet it was bet, a beautiful speech. I bet you said no. <laughs> Amen. I, can't do no <laughs> I can just see it in your body. <laughs> yeah, the lips was moving, but I didn't hear no voice. So I said I can't read your lips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you for helping me out with that <laughs> <laughs> I was saying brother Tommy do you have any concluding words and I was also asking if brother Elton would take us out in prayer after your uh, concluding um, Amen uh, No uh, my friend Hakeem the McKnight's grandson he says sometimes you just leave well enough alone Right. <laughs> it's been an awesome night and I can do anything but mess it up. <laughs> Good night. Thank you, everyone, for your time. Yes, 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 We've been blessed tonight with the presence of a miracle. And yes. Sister Joy, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thanks, everyone. You're welcome. Yes, yes. Thank you. All right, well, if there's nothing else, everyone, uh, we're going to ask Brother Elton to take us out uh, in prayer to conclude our uh, study tonight. Yes. About his. Father God, we just say thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this word that was spoken today by a great man of God, yes. Brother Lord Tommy, and just continue to bless him and his family, dear Lord, and to continue to bless this group. Thank you, Mr. Johnson, for the host and the Heavenly yeah. Father and his family. And just continue to pour into him and, and pour into us as well, the Heavenly Father, that we know that if we can just touch the him of your God, we made whole. We yeah. witness your, your healing power, not something that we heard, but that we have seen. And we thank God for the presence of Jew, her, her presence, the Lord, powerful and, and with her wisdom and knowledge, the Heavenly Father. But we thank you, Lord, for just continuing to lifting her up. Yes, Even Lord. through dark hours, dear Lord. As we see the eclipse, dear Lord, we saw that it was dark for a moment, dear Lord. But yes. the sun shall rise. And we know that the sun will rise in all of us as we go through, dear Heavenly Father. It don't matter what the world sees, dear Lord, we know that we, we have hope in you. Yes. Even no matter what we go through, dear Heavenly Father, we know that 
we just say thank you. We can be hold again to Heavenly Father, and we just continue to not only wait on our time and dear Lord, but just continue to encourage others while we're still going through the Heavenly Father, because we know we, He's not a selfish God, the Heavenly Father. We yes, know so. that He heals the, 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 the sinful as well as the faithful, but, uh, but we yes. just thank you for this time we have together to come together, encourage one another until we meet again, that we, you know, we, yes. as we leave this place, but never His presence. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Yes. Uh, by the time. Right, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Right. Thank you. Right. Have a nice fall. Yes. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, guess, guess, I, guess. I, I got a black shirt. I got a black shirt. I got a black hat. I, I don't forget. I got a black suit. Then we're going to dress like twins one day. Like you, <laughs> oh, like you were okay. in the same <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good night, everybody. Oh, that, that is good. Good. Hey, Tony, what are we going to do with them? Uh, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. We got to get together. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get together. We do. Yes. Okay. You guys right. take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>